Hello guys, once again, it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members of the patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's do a very, very quick recap on the Russian stream. Okay, so we had the Russian stream. Uh, they started with some of the French stuff, as you see over here. Small little truck, but uh, just to, to start it off very good. Um, remember, the dev server is going to come after the two streams. The next one, the English one, is coming like in uh, like 50 minutes and after that the dev server should open so be aware subscribe to check everything and yeah let's just get into it so they, they show it this truck not gonna show too much in the dev server i can show it more then we have the mirage 4000 guys very cool aircraft but it is a little bit limited due to the weaponry that it takes on the bvr that's pretty much the only limitation everything else it is going to be on par with the aircraft that we already have or are receiving the performance feels very very good i don't know if it is uh, if this is arcade or not but still amazing performance two very strong engines the radar should be okay nothing too crazy but not too good as well um it can take two super 530s and four magics that's it you know magic two so it cannot take uh more I mean, it can take six magics without the Super 530, but anything else is not there. Uh, it can take laser-guided bombs and missiles as well. And yeah, it's uh, here it's the loadout. Let me just show to you guys. So you can see some bombs, guided bombs, guided missiles, the TV system, countermeasures, uh, and the missiles. So very, very cool. Uh, they flew a little bit of the aircraft. And you can see that the performance is pretty, pretty amazing, guys. It turns very well. And it should be a heavier Mirage 2000 or so basically having more power but turning basically the same so a counter to something like the f-15 right so very very cool aircraft guys let's uh, get on with it uh, then they show it the t-90m this is the modifications you can uh, buy an era modification on it it is using the bm-60 okay uh, nothing else but you can see clearly very good tank amazing armor the turret everything that we already know and love from the t-90 it is quite a fast tank if you uh, go a little bit here i don't know this was in arcade if i'm not mistaken but still it is quite a fast tank so very good the only problem with it is that the reverse speed is kind of bad uh, they added a new um like camera to the atgm on some of the vehicles you can see right here uh so you can take it and then the big ones guys the su27 is here why is the quality so low oh my god so the Su-27, amazing, can take 10 missiles, 4 R-73s with 6 R-27Es. So it's amazing. The turning capability that they show it is really, really amazing. Let's show the, um, the loadouts. You can see that it can take, it's right up there. Let me just go a little bit back. Uh, you can take 6 R-27ERs uh, or uh, 2 ETs, as you see on the armor pylons over here. And then 6 R-73s, or you can take... Uh, a mix you can take two, four r73s two ets and four ers for example and then a lot of non-guided stuff no fox trees no guided stuff for these aircraft uh okay so yeah they tested a little bit of the performance of this thing and it's really really amazing guys it climbs like oh my god it's i i'm saying it right now it probably will be the best air battle aircraft in the game uh, because it will be the most complete aircraft, the best BVR with an amazing dogfight capability uh, with HMS or H HMD, right? With the R-73s, which are one of the best dogfight missiles in the game, the best, I think. Uh, amazing engines, not a lot of countermeasures, but it's better than the, the original MiGs. You can see all the missiles over here. So it's just, oh my god, it's really, really amazing. They tested a little bit of the... Cobra, quote-unquote, capability of these aircraft, and the performance is pretty, pretty amazing. Let me just go back over here. Look at this, guys. It turns like, a, oh my god, way better than the MiG-29. So hopefully they fix the FI model of the MiG-29. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really amazing. And then, of course, the J-11 as well, guys. It is pretty much the same, okay? So I'm not gonna talk too much about it. They even didn't uh, test fluid. But yeah, basically an SU-27 SK, right? Uh, uh, exported model of the SU-27S that we are receiving. Uh, R-27s, R-73s, all the good stuff. So yeah, pretty much the same aircraft, but for China. So very, 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 very cool. Uh, remember, the SU-27 is actually coming after 
the SU-17. So if you are researching the SU uh, line to get something like the SU-27, remember it is after the SU-17s. And the J-11, I don't think they show it, but it is down... Uh, below the, the J-8, if I'm not mistaken. They show it a new uh, tank, the VT-4, it's an exported tank. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much into it in the dev server, we can talk about it, uh, if this thing loads, if because it, it just doesn't want to load. But yeah, a Chinese tank, new Chinese tank, very, very cool. We have the F-15s, guys. Uh, they added three F-15s, okay? The F-15A, the F-15J, and the F-15 uh, Nets, or not Nets, uh, sorry, Bus. Um, so basically the Americans, the Israelis and the Japanese, uh, the F-15A, it is just a normal F-15A with the MSI-2, MSI-P2, if I'm not mistaken, package, because it has the countermeasures, a lot of them actually, and then it uses the AIM-7M and the AIM-9M, so nothing too crazy, as I said, it is pretty much the same aircraft as we already uh, had uh, with the F-16, but better, you know, more, that's pretty much it, the performance is amazing as well, a lot of power, uh, this is the F-15J, as you see, it is taking the AM-3, which is currently using a uh, 40G max um, turn load, so the Japanese actually technically have the better version, I must say, this is the A variant, uh, AIM-9Ms and AIM-7Ms, as you see, and some guided and unguided bombs, um, and then, of course, let me just unpause it here, you can see the aircraft, amazing aircraft, very, very cool, and uh, yeah, guys, a lot of countries actually receiving new stuff in general, you know, it is a lot of new stuff, so uh, yeah, you can see it's the F-100 engine, uh, and the APG-63 has around 70 kilometers a minimum range of uh, detection, so it should detect an F-16, or an F5 or something like that, that is very small, at at least 70 kilometers, depending on the aspect. Uh, the SU-27-1 has 80, uh, so a little bit better, but not by much as well. Um, then the Japanese, um, they are going to show here, um, you can see the F-15J, so it is pretty much the same aircraft, uh, but it is the C variant, okay? So it should be a little bit better in performance with the engines, but not by much. Um, and then he has uh, AM-3s instead of the uh, original AIM-9Ms, right? And then afterwards, the Israelis are actually receiving um, the, um, the, the bus that I was talking about, right? So the bus is one... This is really hard without the little thing here. Uh, but yeah, the bus, they are flying the bus over here, for example, um, is using the Python-3 missile, you can see right here. So it is basically the same aircraft as the American A variant, but the only change is the change, the exchange from the A9M to the Python 3, okay? So that's pretty much it. They added a little animation for the wheels to spin uh, when they are um, on the ground, finally, after all these years, apparently. So, yeah, very, very cool. And you can see the acceleration of the aircraft. You can see the, the wheels over there, right? So very, very, very cool. So, yeah, amazing flying over here very very cool the flares and stuff so yeah it is an amazing aircraft i will test it out they show it a little bit of the challenger uh it is using the dm53 so very very cool as well already did a cover it in the dev blog so i'm not gonna mention too much and then we have the gripen guys the gripen is the new top tier aircraft for sweden there are some things that i need to talk about for sweden is getting an strv 122b plus so very very cool um the 2a7 is actually coming as well uh and then guys um there is some interesting things. The UK is going to receive a Gripen as well, apparently. Apparently, they talked about it in the, the stream. Uh, it is going to be the C variant. And, um, yeah, very, very interesting that they are using it. Uh, the only thing is that the Gripen is re receiving the Sky Flash. So, um, you can see it right here uh, on the loadouts using the RB74M which is basically an E9M, I would say, and then the Sky Flash, so no RB99 and some guided stuff over here. And they basically, I think they said that uh, it's going to come on the second patch of next year or something like that, the Fox 3s. So these aircraft will eventually receive uh, something like that, okay? The performance of the Gripen is really amazing. They show it, the cockpit a little bit with the um, HUD and stuff. The radar should be uh, at least on this show like test that they did uh on the same level as the f-15 okay so very interesting because it's a very light aircraft so you can see that the, the you know the technology is 
a lot more modern. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. And that's pretty much it, guys. There are some other things. As I said, the Leopard 2, a, a 2 a7, the M1 A2 SEP V2, but I don't want this video to be too long. It's already very, very long. And uh, yeah, basically they show it everything like that. There are some other minor things, but I'm not gonna go into it uh, because there's ships and other stuff like that. And by the way, the MiG-25 is denied, okay? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. And um, in a bit, I will release the English stream recap, okay? Bye guys. See you.